Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. I know you guys requested that I reviewed some of the mods from my modded survival. So here is Legendary Beasts. This is an awesome mod guys. It adds five brand new bosses into the game. So if you love fighting, you're really going to enjoy this one. So they actually all spawn in their own custom structures randomly generated throughout the world. And you're probably wondering how you actually go about finding them. The first one, you're going to have to find yourself just like traveling through and adventuring. But after you kill one, it will drop this. It is a sacred eye. And it actually works just like an eye of ender. So all you need to do is toss it into the air. And it will lead you in the direction of the closest legendary beast. So if we head this way, we should have no problem finding one. What I really like about this mod is the bosses are actually very challenging and unique. They have their own like strategies involved and stuff. And you can see right here, there is a cloud in the sky. This is where the lightning spirit spawns. Probably the most annoying one to actually get up to because, you know, you have to build your way like all the way up to this boss. But um, the fight is very cool. So you can see like no one is here right now. But when we land, you'll see he actually spawns in any second now. Let's wait for it. You hear the shrieking of a beast. And there he is. He has 325 hit points. I'd um, recommend having at least diamond gear. Probably want to enchant it too for this one. So what we're going to do is go game mode. Zero. And we're going to fight him. So I am struck by lightning right away. That is how he fights you. And he spawns charged creepers. He only takes damage from your fists and from explosions. You can't hit him with the diamond sword. We can try. Does nothing. Making it a very, very hard fight. So basically what you want to do is use these creepers to try to kill him. So I'm going to try to get them to explode and <laughs> that should have done a lot of damage to him. And don't get knocked off. I'm going to have this golden apple like right away because I feel like I'm going to die. You could probably tell already this is not an easy fight. He's out to 209. You do have the choice of bringing TNT. Um, whether it's going to help you or not, honestly, I'm not sure it's going to help too much. But we will try here. <laughs> and it has all just exploded. He's down to 143. You can definitely tell this is going to be a challenge. Like, very, very difficult. I actually have it on easy right now as well. So try to get him with that. And he's still got 84 health left. So using these creepers is probably going to be your best bet. And he actually drops a really nice staff. He's only got 22 left. Try to get behind this creeper. Get him to explode. Finish him. There we go. So we have killed the lightning spirit. And that was freaking hard. You can see right here he has dropped a couple items. He's dropped two more sacred eyes, so we can use these to easily find another legendary beast. And also, the lightning staff, which is very cool. So now we can shoot lightning down from the sky as well. It is pretty awesome. So it's a nice way to actually be able to fight mobs and bosses after this. Plus, the durability does last for quite a while, too. So you can have a lot of fun with it. And these guys, you can kill them more than once. I mean, you can travel through your world. Um, you might be throwing one of these sacred eyes, like, right after this. And the next boss you might find might be the Lightning Spirit again. It can happen. So, it's pretty cool. All right, guys. So, another structure you are going to come across is a giant pyramid like this. And in here, this is where the Ender Lord spawns. And he is, wow, I am attacked, like, the exact second right there. <laughs> there he is. He's a giant Ender Lord. And you actually can use this place to your advantage. If you go into the corner, he's actually too tall to hit you. I don't know if they meant it to be this way. It's kind of unfair, so I actually recommend fighting out in the open. Um, his main move is he just teleports directly behind you like he did right there. And if you look through this place, there are Enderman spawners. And there's pumpkins on the ground. But yeah, there is one of the Enderman spawners right there. So there's going to be a ton of Enderman around you. And since it's dark, there's going to be mobs spawning like crazy in here. There's like a hundred spiders after me. The lucky thing is you can actually use the corners to your advantage if you would like to. You probably shouldn't though. And the pumpkins, you can use them over your head to protect yourself from the normal Enderman, but it will not work against the Ender Lord. This dude, he can see right through it. So he's down to 50. We've almost got him here, guys. And he drops a pretty cool staff as well. All right, there we go. We need to get out of here. Like they're all after me right now. And I'll show you guys the staff. I am, like, under the ground, aren't I? Oh, God. This is terrible. Let's switch our game mode back to one. Okay, there we go. All right, we're safe now. Don't worry, guys. I mean, this spawned in, like, a really weird spot. We're actually, like, in the mountains right here. All right, so this staff, this is what it does. It teleports you just like an Enderman. So, right-click there. Bam! You can teleport pretty far away, too. Let me try, like, over here. So, there we go. So, yeah, I really love this staff. 
easy way to transport yourself around the world. Of course, it does use durability, but you can use it quite a bit before it runs out. Eventually, you are going to come across this giant snow dome. And this one actually spawned really weird, like the weirdest spawn I've ever seen. Like, literally on top of a tree. That is not normal. Um, but in here is the snow beast. He is a very difficult boss. He's a very high defense. So we're going to switch our game mode to zero and go at him. So he has 350 hit points. And um, he's actually weak to fire and he will shoot snowballs at you. Um, this fire step is from the fire demon. You're probably going to want to get it to fight him because using a diamond sword on him barely does any damage at all. You can see that does seven. If I use the diamond sword... It does like two or three damage, like two. That's pretty low. So you're gonna need some type of fire to injure this dude. It's gonna be your best bet. Um, he has another move where he crushes the ground. You can see over there, there was like a giant hole. See if we get them to do that again. Um, but yeah, this hole right here, that is from him. He stomps on the ground and it does a ton of damage. You're gonna wanna try to stay away from him. Like, right there. Look at that. That is ridiculous. So, stay away. This dude does a ton of damage. Best bet, some kind of fire. You can bring flint and steel, whatever you need to bring to try to take this dude down. So, we've actually got, almost got him here. We're getting him down pretty low. All right, let me get a health potion. Don't want to die during this fight. And once again, if you don't have some type of fire, you're probably going to really struggle. Even diamond gear on that's enchanted and a diamond sword, you may lose because he takes almost no damage. You'd have to hit him 175 times with a diamond sword. All right, we've got him. He is dead. And he drops a pretty cool staff too. All right, so this one is the ice staff. And what it actually does is it shoots snowballs out so you can like place snow on the ground. Which you should be able to see right here. There we go. So you can place snow on the ground. And this is actually a very useful staff against the fire demon. Which is where you would get the staff to fight him too. So it's kind of like conflicting. Which one should you fight first? Because they both like drop the staff that is like overpowered against the other boss. So we're going to go to the next boss now guys. Alright guys, so we have made it to the next structure where the fire demon spawns. And this one is really cool. Like the whole thing is on fire. You could actually use this for like a build or something after because it is so awesome looking. So against this dude, you're probably going to want to use an ice staff if you can. If you can't, use a diamond sword, um, but you're going to get lit on fire a lot. He summons blazes like crazy, so it's actually a very difficult fight. Try to find a good way in over here. Um, yeah, so he spawns them. There aren't actually spawners. You can tell that he spawns them because, like, the exact second I broke that open. Oh, he's right there. And you may actually be... Oh, my God, this is ridiculous. You may actually be able to, um, use the side like this to your advantage. I recommend bringing a fire resistance potion, which I've got with me. I mean, these dudes are so aggressive, they may actually just come out after you like this. So if I kill him with the diamond sword, I can do that. But if you have him at range, it's going to be much easier. If I fight him from here, he actually won't be able to light me on fire. Because it's like his body that does it. But you still have to watch out for all the blazes that he spawns. There aren't blaze spawners. He just spawns them like crazy. And you can see the ice staff is definitely helping in the fight. I'm trying to like move around and avoid the blaze like fireballs coming at me. Which is working pretty good. Almost got him down. And he's like the devil. I mean, look at him. He looks just like the devil. Dude freaks me out. Very scary boss. And I think we got him here. But yeah, these guys don't despawn after, um, you've got like 100 blazes after you, so I'm just gonna switch my game mode to one to avoid death so we can pick up this staff. And I already showed it to you. It just shoots like fireballs out. It is very awesome and extremely useful against the snow beast. I could like light a whole like forest on fire if I wanted to. Not sure why I'd want to, but I guess I could. And yeah, this building he spawns in is awesome. Since he pushed us out, I'm gonna actually go into it now. Like, I tried to get into it, and he pushed us out. So there is lava on the floor. Be careful, because what happened to me when I was actually playing this mod is it spawned kind of weird, and I went through the floor, and I, like, accidentally knocked into the lava. So be careful when you come into this one, guys. All right, guys, here is the structure where the elf hunter spawns. I would recommend a potion of fire resistance once again. He can light you on fire, and he can poison you. And these dudes are so ridiculous. Let me try to get up to his structure over here. So he actually only takes damage from bows. You cannot fight him any other way. He's got 325 hit points. I've given myself a nice enchant so we can actually like kill him in a reasonable amount of time. So he has a couple interesting drops. He can drop a really nice bow. It has like um, random enchants on it. And he can drop a poison blowgun. Which is what he uses to poison us. So we've almost got him here. 
He is very difficult. Don't go in there thinking you can kill him with a sword. It just does nothing. It does not affect him at all. He actually dropped both. That's the first time I've ever seen that. So he... Look at my character. I have so many arrows in me. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Let's get a better look. So yeah, after you fight him, you're probably going to look something like this. I think I actually have one in my nose, which is, which is very weird looking. And as you can see, a very cool structure once again. And this is what he's dropped. He has dropped a bow with power 5, punch 2, and flame 1. That is very powerful. And it's actually completely random. Like, he can drop power 7. I've seen it. It can happen. And he also dropped a poison blow gun. And with this, all you do is, you know, right click and bam. You can shoot a poison dart at your enemies. Which is exactly what he uses on you. So all these bosses are very tough. And it makes Minecraft a much better experience. Like, as you search through the world, you will find awesome bosses and get their great weapons as well. Anyways, guys, if you want to check out this mod, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.